I took a week off and I don't even care. Actually, it was kind of a bummer. Last weekend, I was going to do the carburetor side by side test, you know, the 600 versus the 350. And it didn't happen, so I just took a week off. Here I am, laid out, ready to go, got all my jets ready to go, got all the jets over here, got all the hollies ready to go, got the box for the holly, and got the slickums. Well, you can't see me behind that. But um, it got cold, so they called it because of cold. So I'm going to pull something else out, but I'm going to show you something real quick. Here's another thing that I that's a good idea to do if you're going to be running tight lash camshafts is that I haven't had a chance to test this thing um, as far as the lash goes when it's cold, like really cold. So right now it is 60 degrees on that block. Uh, block is 30, 39 degrees. I could get a colder, but there's really no point. I'm gonna take the uh, valve cover off and I'm going to check to see how much the the lash is closed up or opened up, or we're going to find out. I know it's going to happen, but this is for you guys. And this way also, too, I've never really set or had it this cold before, so this way it will tell me uh, where I can actually set the valves at. So I'm going to pop this off and take a look. Okay, so I just checked them with 6 and 8, and it was 34 I think the block was a final temperature. I think you guys saw 39, but when I finally pushed it into the garage here, it was at 34 degrees. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cold um, outside. It was like 20 something um, in the afternoon. So I got the block down to 34 degrees. So yep, we just checked them in there good. Alrighty. So yeah, hopefully this thing, this pig starts. Maybe if I can do it one handed. It's a little cold. So you can see how the see how the oiling system works. a little thick right now. Let me grab a flashlight here. But you can kind of see how it gets down onto the push rod cup. It's kind of an ingenious design. If you ever wondered how a slant six rocker system oiling works, there you go. And as it warms up, there's a lot more oil that comes out. Start along a little bit. It's 
So the goal here is that right now it's I got it down to 35 degrees the block earlier. I took the valve cover off and I wanted to check the rock arm because it's gonna the engine's gonna shrink and I wanted to see if the six and the eight were still valid when it was that cold and and it is. So I, I'm gonna actually go a little tighter. Um, to get rid of it, just a little bit of tacky tacky. Uh, I was a little nervous, so I'm going to try to go down to. Um, I might go down to four, four and six. I'll tighten it up by two thousandths and see what happens from there. And I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. I let the sucker run for a little bit and let it get hot. But it's uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Figured you guys would like this one. Oh, and this is a this is a full groove in the back with a 190, uh, sorry, a 109 um, set screw for a restrictor. So that's plenty of oil. I mean, that is completely submerged in oil. All of them are. There's nothing starving for oil. This is actually my first time doing this. This is actually kind of cool with this valve cover. So yeah, there you go. Here's one more thing I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but see how they're twisting? See how they're rotating the push rods? Tells me the camshaft's okay. For those of you fortunate to get an exclusive Slant Daily Garage load spreader for your valve cover, here's a little pro tip that I didn't include in the last one. Um, put a little grease on this here. It just eases as far as popping this thing back off. This thing spreads the distribution so well that it gives a nice even, even in the corners, gives a nice even loading on it. And this way you can pop it on and off. Um, I pop mine and off quite a bit more than probably anyone else because I'm always experimenting with different um, lash adjustments, so on and so forth. So I just lashed them to uh, four and six, and we're gonna give this a go. If not, this doesn't work, then I'm gonna go a foul tighter. I will try three and five. We're just gonna keep on going down and see until we have a problem. Why not? I've got plenty of engines just laying around for slant sixes, so I can mess around with them and do what I want. Alrighty, moving on. Okay, so it's ice cold. See, there's the temp. See, it's on. Power's on. Turn this off. So we're going to give this a start. See what we got. Maybe it'll run on its own, hopefully. There we go. All right, let's see. It's quieter? A little quieter? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's the magic number, four and six. So there it is there. This is how you adjust it if you're gonna be running a hydraulic profile with a solid lifter. On this, for this engine, for this setup, it was four and six. It's nice and quiet now. And there you have it. And you guys got to see the, the oiling system, how it works and so on and so forth. And the next time we'll be getting into the carburetor but that's for the next video. All right, you guys take it easy. Peace.